Hello and welcome. My name is John Manley, aka Jabe, and I will be your teacher for this course. In this first section, I will introduce you to the course, walk you through the course project, and lay out what you can expect to learn upon completion of the course. Let me start off by saying that my first love has always been the MBA, and my second love is coding. As such, I think this class will be a lot of fun for passionate MBA fans who also happen to be aspiring coders. This is the premier Udemy class out there that uses strictly MBA stats as data to help wrap your head around concepts in the Python programming language. While I have found it helpful to read textbooks and watch online tutorials to get a better understanding of the basics for any subject, nothing beats project-based learning. Actually getting your hands dirty and running into real problems that require specific solutions has been my ideal way to learn something new. With that being said, the hardest question typically is, what project should I focus on? From my personal experience, I found it beneficial to focus on something you are passionate about. To find that something, just think of what you frequently pay attention to in your spare time when no one is paying you to pay attention to it. For me, that something is the MBA. I'm a proud subscriber to MBA League Pass, and it didn't take long for me to realize that using MBA stats was going to be the best way for me to learn how to code. And I don't think I'm the only one who thinks this. Ben Falk, founder of cleaningtheglass.com, has this great quote. For one, sports has served as an entry point to data analysis for many. Sports is interesting and it has great data relative to other fields, so it can teach skills and methods of thought that are then more broadly applicable. Personally, I learned how to program, a skill that has been enormously valuable to me, specifically to analyze basketball stats. And I'm far from the only story like this. Using the MBA to learn how to code sounds like a good start, but it is still missing a key piece to turn it into an actual project. That key piece is a goal. Tiago Forte defines a project as a series of tasks linked to a goal with a deadline. So what is our goal? Well, for those of you that have played fantasy basketball before, you may have learned how important the draft is. Your team's success is oftentimes linked directly to your success in the draft. And your success in the draft is often linked to how effectively you can project player stats for that upcoming year. If you know LeBron James is going to score more fantasy points than Anthony Davis, then you will want LeBron James on your fantasy team. After blindly turning to the internet for many consecutive years to use projection models that weren't made by the oafs at ESPN or Yahoo, it dawned on me that said models had come from someone's brain. My thinking from there was, what's stopping me from building my own projection model? Alas, we have our class project. We are going to build an NBA fantasy projection model so you can win your NBA fantasy league. And how will we do that? By learning to code. For our purposes, we are going to focus on Python. I've been hooked on it ever since I took the class Automate the Boring Stuff with Python. It's undoubtedly a popular programming language, so I think it will be beneficial for many years to come. This class is not meant to be an introduction to programming or Python for that matter, so my assumption is that you understand some basics. This class is geared more towards helping you apply Python programming to an actual project to help you better retain information while having fun within the process. Since this class is primarily focused on data in the form of MBA stats, we will need to manipulate the data in various ways. To help with this, we'll use the Pandas library. Pandas is extremely powerful and can be used in more ways than just building MBA fantasy projection models, so I think you will find it extremely helpful to learn more about. In his book, Jake Vanderplast describes Pandas as a newer package built on top of NumPy, that provides an efficient implementation of a data frame. Data frames are essentially multi-dimensional arrays with attached row and column labels, and often with heterogeneous types and or missing data. As well as offering a convenient storage interface for labeled data, Pandas implements a number of powerful data operations familiar to users of both frameworks and spreadsheet programs." End quote. Said another way, Pandas is like SQL and Excel on steroids. We will take a lot of time to focus on the Pandas library, and we'll go into much more depth later. By the end of this course, you will be ready to win your NBA Fantasy League by building the best fantasy projection model using Python, and more specifically Pandas. 
All of this will be done using a Jupyter Notebook so you can share your work and improve on it over the years. There aren't many prerequisites. While we'll be spending some time early in the terminal to download and install our packages, you may only need a basic understanding of how to get around the terminal window. We will also be doing everything in Python, so you should have a basic understanding of the language, but we'll, we will spend an entire section to make sure we are on the same page. Unfortunately, I will only be doing screen shares for a Mac computer. This means some of the installation will vary for Windows computers, but all of the work within the Jupyter Notebook should be the same. I'm terribly sorry for non-Linux users. I plan to update this over time. Since we are using MBA data as examples, you will definitely see some of my MBA fandom come through in the examples. Apologies in advance if you are a LeBron James hater. Lastly, this course is for those with a passion to learn. This can't be taught necessarily, but I will do my best to make it as easy as I can for you. In full disclosure, you will be seeing a lot of MBA pandas gifts throughout this course. All right, let's get started.